I'm just doing a Cricut calibration because I'm going to make some example stickers uh, to try out the packaging and I want them to be nice and neat and I thought I might as well cut a few and use them. like a little cherry blossom it's like minimalist and nice I'm actually gonna print a few of these out on Cricut so Mike can use them straight away because um, my Cricut is finally calibrated can you see that juicy perfect cut how annoying uh, but I'm gonna print a few of these out on Cricut so Mike can use it before they get sent to me so I'm really really happy with how these turned out I wanted to use them right away so I've actually made a bunch for Mike so you can start using them in orders I think it looks really minimalist and really pretty and at the minute I'm actually cutting some planner stuff ones as well I've actually sent off to get these professionally manufactured but I can't wait any longer I want to use them now anyway I'm super excited because we have just got a notification on our emails that the delivery of the catnip neon sign has arrived downstairs so me and Dean are going to pick it up and hopefully install it. I've got my drill on me, so fingers crossed I can install it. I know how to drill holes into walls, but I just have to make sure there's no wires behind it. So let's go pick it up. I'm super excited to see what it's gonna look like. It's gonna really finish the place off, I think. Let's unbox it. How do we unbox it? because it got sent from Croatia. Well, it looks pretty cool. Check this bad boy out. Oh, it's so perfect. It's huge. Can't believe it. Ta-da! It's all lit up. I asked for white, but uh, they only did cool white, so I don't know if it's gonna go. Maybe I should have stuck with the pink color, uh, but it's a white one, so it could go against the pink. I just thought pink and pink might be too much, but maybe I should have got pink, but how cool is that? We need to install it, it looks so cool. They've came with these little screws and screw cap covers for them as well. So I'm gonna get my drill and pre-drill the hole and then I'm gonna screw them in. sign up wrong we meant to have the plastic bit at the back and then the screw thing at the front idiots we're gonna try that again and ta-da my neon sign is all up I can't believe we installed it wrong what an idiot that looks so much better that's the head-on view I don't know if I should have got pink or not because <laughs> the warm white and cool white is kind of contrasting but I love it it's so cool, it also has a dimmable option too. It looks really cool behind me. Oh wow! Ta-da! You 
huge thank you to Make Neon Sign for uh, gifting me this neon sign. It's absolutely perfect. It goes perfectly in the studio. I love me a neon sign. It's cool looking in the lens because I can see the reflection of my logo. On camera it doesn't even pick up how pretty it is in real life. Uh, so thank you so so much. If you guys want to check out the neon signs I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway I'm going to go home now because I've got a banging headache. Good morning guys. Welcome to another studio vlog. So today we are going to be working on some t-shirts and cap designs and getting those sent off to the manufacturer. Now I shared this in a couple of studio vlogs ago. I created some little sketches I did on a Patreon exclusive live stream and I'm going to design them today and send them off but first of all I'm going to have my breakfast and catch up with some emails and then we're ready to go and send them off. So I've gone off track a little bit this always happens and I'm currently just um, setting up my product listing photos ready for well it was meant to be this week but to be honest I think I'm gonna have to delay the shop update because I've got loads to do uh, I want to add a bunch of new prints and we're going to actually get a3 options in our shop so I've just ordered some a3 paper and um, but I'm gonna wait to publish them because I don't know if they'll print right but I thought these little flower prints that I've featured on my recent studio vlogs I thought it'd be nice to add like a personalization to it so um, you can either have it with or without the personalization but I thought it would look really really cute in like bedrooms and stuff and also Etsy has just changed the new listing photo size actually it might not be that updated but now it's 2700 by 225 pixels tall just in case anyone wanted to know and um, so I'm actually going to work on prepping sorry there's all sorts of beeping the mug presses are going off I'm going to get to work on some new art prints and I think the personalised oh wow I think the personalisation option will work really really well I think it'll just look really <laughs> my god work really well in like bedrooms and stuff like that so uh, I'm gonna get to work on that I think it's a bit of a side tour but it had to be done at some point I wanted to get the caps and t-shirts done today and I might still have time but it's definitely on for this week this is usually what happens oh <laughs> like going to the next like week and so uh, next day and sometimes I'll like complete like today's stuff tomorrow or vice versa it doesn't always stick to the days but when I'm feeling motivated to do something I might as well get the ball rolling and do it otherwise it just never ha will happen also I've had loads of like these minimalist prints um stuck in my iPad that I literally did last year so they're really really minimalist and I actually designed it let me just show you the really really like basic prints i designed it for my sh uh, van actually i designed these as like a three thingy print for my van and they're just really minimalist but i thought do you know what i might add this to my store because someone might want them um what's the harm eh? i'm also using this little flower outline uh that i use for my packaging now so it all ties in well with my shop and everything i like where you can see the neon light reflecting in <laughs> in the reflection. We've just got a really big heavy delivery so I'm going to unbox it because I'm hoping it's the new packaging stuff, but it's super heavy, so I'm actually not sure what's in this. Let's double check and see. Uh oh. What's going on here? Why has it got such a big white border around it? Why isn't it full bleed? Mouse mats, oh no, they're gonna all go to waste. Was it your fault or was it their fault? I don't know. Look at this. So this is meant to be, this is meant to be like this. And there's, look at this whole box full of them. It's all gonna go to waste. Oh, oh my gosh, what the heck? Why has it got such a big white border around it? Oh no. What the heck is going on? Oh, oh no. I wondered why they were so fast. I didn't get a proof or anything. Oh dear. What am I going to do with all this paper? And it's not even like I can use it for anything. Like, what can I use this for? Please let me know in the comments. I'm going to have to contact um, 
the supplier. <gasps> they all like that as well. Oh, I'm gonna have to get these all out and see. I always think, is this my fault or their fault or what? Would you be able to help me lift these out? Many of you are. Oh. Mouse mats that aren't printed right. Why is it like that? Oh, look at all of them. The green ones, the blue ones, all that paper. Because I got a hundred, I might have even got two hundred each of the prints. Oh no. So all of them, look at that. Please let me know if you guys know of any way that I can use these at all. Because um, obviously they're meant to be the full size like that. Uh, these ones are printed fine, the vinyl stickers. So that's vinyl stickers. And then, oh, they've kind of fell everywhere. These are the coasters. So they've printed fine. And they look really, really nice. So if we put the coaster on, ta-da! So that's perfect. They've worked totally perfect. But the mouse mat hasn't. The coasters look really good though. The coaster packaging looks really, really nice. And the print's good quality. Final stickers. So these are the pin displays, all of these. These are printed fine because I actually did put these with a white board around but I just don't understand why the manufacturer's done that for this because I sent the file at full bleed with this, not with a white border. I did send it the white border here because obviously we need this to fit to size so we actually manually have to cut these which I'm going to experiment with now. I don't really know what the logic was behind not doing the A4 ones full bleed because They've done the A6 and the the coaster and the vinyl sticker ones. They've done them full bleed, so I'm really confused. I hope it's not something I've done. <coughs> so this is the pin display size because I measured it. Hopefully it should fit. And we just fold it like this. Obviously I'll get a proper fold or a thing for it. Fold it. It should look like that. This hasn't got the sticks on it, hasn't got the end bits on it, but it should be fine. It's just a sample. Hold it like that. Put this like this. Yeah, that's a perfect fit. And then staple this in place. Like that. Perfect. So this was deliberately done like that um, so that we could cut it exactly to size to fit our packaging because uh, it didn't offer a custom size where we got it from. We got these from printed.com. Um, all of these are printed okay. All the vinyl stickers and everything and the courses but, and the pin display things, they've all printed fine. Catnip.com on the back there. But what hasn't printed fine is this big pile of mouse mats. I'm going to take a picture, send an email and give them a call. Oh, the beauty of business when it goes wrong, eh? So I've actually sent through an email, but I just need it in a rush, that's all. Um, so I thought I'd ring you as well just to bump it up. So I was just doing the mock-ups and stuff for art prints and I created this new art print and I thought how pretty will it look there because I've got some A3 paper coming I think it'll look so pretty there so I can't wait to get this one in how nice is that? I don't know I just thought it was really cute is it just me? Uh, I'm making more art prints and I shouldn't be really because I need to focus on the actual product update that I'm doing. Mike and Dean are just doing the last rush which happens like pretty much every day of them sticking all the labels off ready for the postman downstairs. Well, that's not true. Normally I'm on time it's just somebody wanted to film it for TikTok. <laughs> I wanted to film a packaging thing for TikTok so I, yeah he was waiting for me so it's my fault. Oopsie sorry Mike. Also Mike said that he has been with us three years when was it Sunday? 
Yeah, well, I think it's just like this week or next week <laughs> I generalised it. I added it on my calendar. <laughs> Yay, so happy third birthday at Cabinet Mike. I can't believe it's been the big like three. This is actually crazy. So on Wednesday, we're going to go out to celebrate. We're going to go to Saltburn and we're going to treat him to a meal. <gasps> oh, can you believe it's been three years? 